Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna do subtraction again today. So you're gonna find your packet in your yellow folder. It's chapter six, okay? The cover look, well, they, all the covers look the same, don't they? But you'll see chapter six up here. And um, hey, boys and girls, I promise you, I know we've been working really hard on Go Map, okay? So we, um, on the addition and subtraction. We've actually gotten through chapters five and six in a good amount of time, but that's because we got a little behind because we were doing a whole bunch of other, we were doing a lot of fun packets. And if we want to finish our Go Map, we kind of have to stick to it. But I promise you, I'm sending some pages home next week. We're going to have a pickup day next week. I'm pretty sure Monday I'll send out an announcement and uh, I'll have a few fun pages for St. Patrick's Day, okay? Because it's nice to take a break and not always do, do the Go Map. Okay, so the next four pages, I'm gonna tear them out of my book. Some of you guys, I know, I know you like to keep them in the packet and that's fine with me. I just like to tear them out because, well, I have to take, I have to take pictures and it's easier for me to take pictures when they're out. Okay, so oh, I have, these are the pages. One, two, three, four. Now the pages this week have been super easy. They're gonna start getting a little bit harder now. Not really hard just take a little bit more time now um this message is for natalie our new student um i forgot to send these home uh, the kids were really lucky because we ended up with lots of extra unifix cubes because i've been teaching for a very long time so i already had unifix cubes and the go math program gave us more so we were able to send home unifix cubes for the kids and counters um, I promise, uh, Natalie, when I see you, if I see you next week and give you the new worksheets, I will also give your mommy some cubes and some counters. So you can do the math without them because they're right here. But this is what the directions say. Model a five cube train. So a five cube train is five unifix cubes hooked together. One, two, three, four, five. This is a five cube train. But this is what it says. Two cubes are yellow and the rest are red. So I better take two of these off because my five cube train needs to be two yellow. So I'll put the two yellow on there. And is it still a five cube train? Yeah, it's just different now because it's yellow and red. So two are yellow. Now the question is, if two are yellow, how many are red? One, two, three. So boys and girls, you can use your own cubes and model it. And if you don't have the cubes or if you don't feel like you need to, you can just, you know, I'm gonna lay it down here. You can just color it. I do want you to color it because I have to see that you read the directions and um, and uh, and it, what it is is we're doing subtraction where we're separating, okay, is five. Now, how are we gonna separate this? We're gonna separate it two and three, okay? Plus is two plus three. Takeaway is five, takeaway two equals three. Here, let me go ahead and, so here's the whole cube train. So if I have five cubes up here, I'm gonna go ahead and color this red. This one is gonna take a little longer today. Okay, I always like to color that circle in the middle, kind of dark, and then I can just do this light. Okay, that looks just like the one I built, right? Okay, so five, if two are yellow, oops, did I get a yellow? No, let me find my yellow real quick. Okay, if, two, if we know two are yellow, because they told us, okay, and we take them apart like that, here's my two yellow, and, the, um, and we take the two away, sorry, <laughs> then these are the red ones, right? Ah, that confused me a little bit, but I think, here we go. So what we're doing is they're showing us just um, to separate. that they're, they're parts, part, part, whole, that's what it's called. The whole is, is five. If we take it apart, it's two and three. Five, take away, if we take the two away, then we have three, okay, three red. And then on the numbers, all you're gonna have to do is trace. Five minus two gonna take these two away equals three red okay now I may not build all of them because it might take too long Here, I'm just gonna flip this over like that the staple's still in there okay. model a four cube train if one I think I will build it if one cube is blue 
and we want four, and they told us that we have one blue, then how many green ones? Well, this isn't four, right? That's only two. Is this four? Nope, better put one more on there. Is this four? Yeah. Model a four cube train. One cube is blue and the rest are green. Now take apart the train to show how many cubes are green. So I'm gonna set it here. If we take that blue one away, how many are green? One, two, three. So now I'm gonna color it. So I do have some kids who've been doing their math and they're not coloring. Okay, here's my rule. If the directions say to color, you're supposed to color. A lot of times on the reading pages, the directions don't say to color. So that's optional, you don't have to. But when it says to color down here, you need to color because I need to see that you understand and that you either made these or you colored them in so you can um, see how they took that apart. We've got a four cube train. If we take away the blue one, how many are left? Three green. Okay, I'm pretty much just doing this with you, but um, I wanna do that. And uh, if you get it without going through the lesson, you can do it all by yourself, that's great. But a lot of kids do need the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, down here, make a three cube train. Two cubes are orange, it doesn't look orange to me. Uh, and the rest are blue, I'll, I'll use orange. One, two are orange and the rest are blue, but we only want three all together. So if two are orange, how many blue do we need? One. If you put one more on there, it wouldn't be three, right? I'm gonna lay that down, okay? Two are orange, one is blue, so I'll color this blue. And then you've gotta do the subtraction down here. We have a three cube train, all together there's three. If we take the two orange ones away, how many are left? One, one blue, that's why it's important for you to color. All right, good job. Let me hold it up and I'll take a picture of that so you guys can see it and put it on the assignment page. Okay, let me read this one. Model a four cube train, three are red and the rest are blue. So we start out with the three red like this. Now, if the rest are blue, then this one needs to be blue, right? Okay, if I put this on there, is that four now? Yeah, we did it. All right, so I've got, we've got a four cube train and we're gonna take away those red ones. How many are left? Just one, just the blue one. If you want, you could X them out, if that helps you to see it, okay? So look, there's four. We're gonna take away one, two, three, and then we have one left. I think that might help. We'll do it here too. Okay, down here, model a five cube train. We know that three are yellow, so let me start with my three. Three are yellow and the rest are green. So here's three, here's four, and here's five, because we want it to be five. Hey, these are exact same size, aren't they? That's nice. And I'm gonna lay those down. One, two, color them in. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, is go back down to the bottom. There's a five cube train, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna take away these three. So we can take these apart. How many are left? One, two. Or if you're not gonna use these and do that, you could go like this. One, two, three. We could X them out. Okay, so I X them out and then you see the two that are left. Make sure you color. And here's the directions, okay? If you don't watch my video or you don't um, understand it, mom and dad can help you read those directions. Okay, the back is, Ah, a little chapter review here. It's not a test, it's just a little mid-chapter checkpoint. Okay, it says down here, listen to the subtraction word problem. Draw and color the six circles in the 10 frame. Write the number that shows how many in all. Write the number that shows how many are yellow. Okay, so listen to this. We've got, oh boy. <laughs> six circles in the 10 frame. Okay, we're gonna draw six circles. One two, three, four, five, six. Tell you what, you guys, I'm not gonna worry about the color on this one, all right? I'm just gonna draw six circles, okay? And it tells us right here, minus or take away one. So if we take away that one, there's five left. 
what they wanted to do is say, well, how many are yellow? I think this is what they meant. We'd have to do this, and we could do that a different color. They're not telling us what color though, so. Okay, this shows six and then take away one. Then we'd have five yellow left. Okay, uh, the second one, model of five cube train. Four cubes are blue and the rest are orange. So let's get our four blue cubes. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we want to make five. So it says the rest are orange. Let me put an orange one on there. Now we got five. One, two, three, four, five. If this was addition, we'd say four blue plus one orange equals five. This is takeaway. So they're telling us to start with this cube train, take away, if we take the four blue away, we're left with one orange. Oh, yay, I need to, I get to color with orange. Let me get that. Okay, if we take those four away, we're gonna have one orange. All right, now, this one might be tricky at the bottom, so I wanna go over it, okay. It says circle, yes or no. Does the subtraction sentence make match the model? Okay, so right here, we've got one, two, three, four all together. Okay, we're gonna separate them. So this one says four take away two equals two. Does this show four take away two? No, right? There's four all together, but it looks like they're taking away uh, these, right? So I'm gonna put no. No, that does not make sense. That does not match. Okay, let's do this one. This one says three take away one equals two. Well, there's not three, there's four, okay? I see three here, but if we took this one away, we wouldn't end up with two. Okay, so this one is also a no. Let's look at the one in the middle. Four take away three equals one. Does this show if we start with four and we take one, two, these three away, we're gonna be left over with one. I'll even X them out here just to show you look i like this one we've got four all together we're going to separate it we're going to take these three away and we're going to have one left so this is the one that's going to be yes i know those are a little confusing for the kids but it is really good for them to practice filling in those bubbles and answering yes and no oh i'm sorry that was so long we had a couple really easy math days but this page is going to just be a little bit harder today okay so just work hard listen carefully um have parents check it and I know you guys are all going to do a great job.